Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance of a binomial probability distribution. So we have three pretty basic formulas here. Our mean or mu for a binomial probability distribution is n or your number of trials times p which is your probability of success. So the average number of successes you can expect is your number of trials, how many times you're going to do the experiment, times the probability of success. Pretty simple on that one. Our variance, or sigma squared, is n, which is again the number of trials, times p, which is again the probability of success, times q, which is the probability of failure, which, because we only have two possible outcomes, will be 1 minus the probability of success, or 1 minus p. And as always, standard deviation, or sigma, is simply the square root of our variance. So in this case, sigma is the square root of n times p times q. All right, let's see those in action. So suppose that a company makes light bulbs. 98% of the light bulbs pass final inspection. If 200 light bulbs are pulled off of the assembly line and inspected, how many can be expected to fail the inspection? What is the standard deviation of the number that can be expected to fail? So when we look at the question, how many can be expected to fail, that is asking for the mean, okay? So our mean will be n times p. Well, if we are pulling 200 light bulbs, that would be our n. So we have n equals 200. And here, p is going to be the probability of failing inspection. Okay, so although we might typically equate success with passing inspection, here what we're being asked about is failing inspection. So we're going to equate P with probability of failing inspection. Well, since our bulbs have a 98% chance of passing, they would have a 2% chance or a 0.02 .02 probability of failing inspection. So taking 200 and multiplying by 0.02, .02, we would expect four light bulbs to fail inspection. All right, and also we want to know what is the standard deviation of the number that can be expected to fail. Now to get standard deviation, we really have to go through variance. So thinking about sigma is the square root of sigma squared. So that will be the square root of n times p times q. So here, that will be the square root of 200, which is our number of light bulbs, times our p, or our probability of failing, 0 0.02, times q, or our probability of passing, in this case, which is 0.98. So square root of 200 times 0.02, times 0.98 gives us 1.98 if we were rounding to two decimal places. So our standard deviation is 1.98 light bulbs. All right, guys, that does it for this video on mean, standard deviation, and variance for binomial probability distributions. We'll catch you in the next one.